everybody, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I wanted to make a quick little video and share with you guys all of the things that I picked up from my favorite place. One of my favorite places, the Dollar Tree. So if you are new to my channel, please hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. Um, I appreciate that and on this channel, I like to share crafts and DIYs, specifically with ones that relate to using Dollar Tree items as well as items from all other craft stores like Joann's, Hobby Lobby, and Michael's, just to name a few. I also talk about where I pick up things from or where I find different things because I love to decorate my home seasonally and um, it's just one of the things that brings me joy, especially for the fall and Christmas holidays. So what I am going to be sharing with you today is the, I got three bags worth here of things from the Dollar Tree. And basically, um, in years past, I've gone to the Dollar Tree and gone all out and bought all different kinds of signs. And I recently just got into making my own wood signs using like wood and actual lumber instead of the signs like Dollar Tree signs are on like a chipboard or a particle board. So I like now to take Dollar Tree items and add like three dimension to those wood signs. So a lot of what I'm going to be sharing with you today has a lot of that um, in mind as well as like things for decorating around my home. So let's get into what's inside and what I bought from the Dollar Tree. All right, so everything is specifically um, fall related, maybe with the exception of one or two items. And so I'm just gonna get like right into it. Um, so these are uh, burlap leaves and they come in different colors. They have this orange color, the red color, and they have this khaki like regular burlap color. In addition to that, I got two packs of the burlap. They also have, which I saw them, yes, here they are. Um, they also have this darker color. Um, I was actually in the store when they were unboxing all of their fall things. And so on the picture of the boxes, like where all the inventory comes in, these appear to be green, like a green moss color. But if you look like really close, it's just like a darker burlap. They do have a green tint to them, but in person, they are just more of a brownish burlap with maybe a mossy tone, but they are not really green green. And I was hoping for more of a green green. Then they also have this shape of the burlap leaves as well. And these leaves are pretty awesome because they come with a wired stem, which is pretty long and you can manipulate them and use them in your floor arrangements and that sort of thing. So I got a couple of packages of those. Then I also got lots and lots of ribbon. So I will show you the different ribbons that Dollar Tree has. They typically sell their spools of ribbon in a nine foot spool. I really, really, really am loving this green tone. This was the only one that my store had. Um, it's wired edge, again, perfect for making um, wreaths or using it for bows because you can manipulate the ribbon and how it actually lays when it has the wired edge. So you might wanna check into getting that. I So I got this pretty little brown plaid. It has a copper tone um, shimmer running through it like a metallic which is pretty cool. I'm not like a huge fan of the shimmer, but I do like it, it's subtle enough. And then the edge is also like a goldish copper. It's not gold, geez, I can't hold it. It's not gold and it's not copper on the edge. So there's that, I got two of those. Then I got this pretty one that has more of a gold tone running throughout, but it has the green and it has the typical orange for fall. Super cute, I thought this would be paired nicely with the green. And then I got a couple of spools of all of their skinny ribbon. So for their skinny ribbon, they have lots of different styles and different um, options that you can choose from. I like to layer these within some of my ribbons and in some of my bows. So these are the ones, let me get it in front there, are, that I got. It's a real pretty green with like a copper leaf, a sunflower, of course the pumpkins, then there's the brown one that has like all the leaves on it. And what would it be without fall? With a little bit of orange buffalo check. And then it looks like there's a little brown stitching in there. So 
super fun, super cute. That is all of the ribbons that I got for fall from the Dollar Tree. And I might pick up one or two more subtle different ones from a bigger box craft store, which that typically that ribbon is more than a dollar. So it will cost more. So that is one way that you can mix in the higher end look with the Dollar Tree versions and kind of make something unique and special for your home. All right, so moving on. I picked up some of these felt pumpkins. These came out last year. They are super cute. I ended up actually ordering a box of them from DollarTree.com, um, which is something you can certainly do. You get a mixture of all of the tones that they have. They have it in a creamy white. They have this green. They have a bright, well, it's dark teal, but it's a brighter tone. And they have like a chocolatey brown pumpkin. And I have all of those in my stash of my fall bins. I just not have gotten them out yet, but I probably will be like today. So um, I picked up a few green ones because I don't think I got that many green last year. And since I really wanna add a lot of green to my fall home decor today to kind of mute down the orange, I picked up two more just so I could show you. Then they also have other pumpkins like burlap ones, which are pretty awesome. And I grabbed this pumpkin purely for the fact that it had this awesome sunflower on it. So I um, am into a little bit of using sunflowers for fall this year. I don't really have a plan of how I'm going to implement them throughout my home because it does seem to be its own kind of theme. Um, so this pumpkin I'm not a super fan of. It's got this little flower top coming out of it. Pumpkins really don't grow flowers out the top. So this whole like setup with this like chili pepper looking thing, I don't even know what that is. Um, my phone. It, um, it's just weird to me. So yeah, I'm gonna pull this off and just use the sunflower for something. I'm just not sure what. <laughs> I'm back. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna be using the topper off this and probably throw that pumpkin away. The sunflower itself though, I've been looking at them in the higher end stores and uh, there's also this random like fall leaf here to the side. And I just really couldn't like pass up the like factor of this flower. It just seems to be a little bit better quality than like the ones that they sell on the stems. So I wanted to get at least one and see what I come up with with that. Then of course, because sunflowers is like a thing that's trending this year, I put, picked up two packages of these tiny ones. They come on some little wired stems. And let's see, they also have bigger versions of those. So they have two sizes. And I just grabbed two packs of each. I'll figure out later what I'm gonna be doing with those. Then the next thing was these little floral or like beaded seeded like garlands. How adorable are these? They come in different colors. So I have the red. Now I know that this is a fall item, but I have a plan to use the red ones for something related to Christmas. So I made sure I grabbed a handful of these red ones. And once Christmas comes around, I will bring these back out and show you what I plan to do with them. And then of course I grabbed the green and white because that is the trendy color for fall this year. And I could not bypass the orange and red. So I'm thinking like a little bit of orange and red and maybe like two or three of these mixed together around a wreath or some sort would be beautiful for fall. Um, because I have been working in and around with wood and learning how to cut wood in our garage with our saws. I got some safety glasses because why not? Gotta protect your eyes. So that's not really a fall item, but it's something I definitely needed. And the last bag. All right, so, ooh, that was loud. All right, so I grabbed these cute little pumpkins. They're itty bitty. They have little stems. So, I don't have a plan for these either, but I think that they would be really cute, like popped in on a tear tray or on your coffee bar. Mix it with some of your larger decor. Um, they can also be great if you're giving someone a cute fall gift. You can pop this on top of the present with like the ribbon or just something to give it a little pop of extra um, if you want. So I, I did grab a couple of those. I grabbed one orange and I grabbed two white. So fun things are coming for that. Um, all right, so lastly, of all of the pumpkin signs and all of the fall decor signs that they had at Dollar Tree, none of them really seem to be brand new to me, at least what my Dollar Tree had. There is some wood craft pumpkins that they had there, um, such as these, which I picked up a few, right? 
super cute. Um, but I'm looking for another one that is new this year and they did not have it. It's actually a 3D pumpkin. And then they also have a wood truck with pumpkins in the back. And I think that would be super cute to add to some decor on something um, if I can find them. I'm not going to order a box of those because I don't need 36, but I wouldn't mind having one or two. So I'll be checking back with my Dollar Tree to make sure or to see if they have any of those other pumpkins that I found or those wood cutouts that I found online. But until then, I have some DIYs for these kind of pumpkins, which are super cute, and I'll be doing in a future live. Um, I also have these pumpkins, which are ornaments, super cute, and I never really use them as ornaments. I do have a plan for a couple of these, but I went ahead and grabbed two packages because you just never know how many you want will need. Now, I did think that this might be super cute in a garland with some of these leaves kind of tied in together, and I'll be definitely putting that into a video um, coming up as a craft idea, so stick around for that. I did pop over to the floral section, and I picked up some of these cotton stem bouquets just to kind of use in, and again, with some higher end floral stems, like maybe one or two um, from your bigger box craft stores like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. And then I use the filler stems all from the Dollar Tree. So it's not as expensive and it's still beautiful and fun. And of course, I picked up one bundle of the sunflowers. But just to kind of give you an idea, look at these sunflowers versus the one they use here. See what I mean? This one is bigger, more predominant, and it just seems to be a slightly better quality than what's in these stems. So I could not pass up getting one of these. In fact, I probably should have picked up a few more. All right, then of all the other wood things that they have, I bought this last year um, and I redo it. I don't actually keep it this way. I will be stripping this down. I have an idea for this. I strictly just wanted this sign for its pumpkin shape and the actual size that this pumpkin wood cutout is. Um, I could care less with what the design is or this little cute pumpkin on here. It just pops right off like that. And you could use that in another DIY, which I probably will. But I have a cool plan for this one coming up real soon. So you'll want to stick around to see what I do with this guy. And it involves taking it off the stand. All right. Um, oh, doggy items. You know, why not? Lastly, this is the last thing I want to share with you guys. They are super cute. They are super durable. I have not seen these at the Dollar Tree in the last few years of doing fall. I've seen some similar ones, but you'll probably want to run and grab these, especially if you have any kind of centerpiece on your table or if you have any um, like tiered trays. I just think that these will be a hit to display mix in with some pumpkin decor on your tiered trays. They are glass, so you do need to be careful, but look at the detail of this pumpkin how cute is that it is speckled glass and it has the white and the orange tones i'm going to lay that one right there the other one that i picked up was this green one which is also has some light speckling in it or some speckling whatever you want to call it super cute i think paired together like on a shelf or in maybe a little bowl or a dish these, these would be super cute. And then I got one more. And this one is the prize one, I would say, of all the pumpkins, of all the pumpkin things. This just looks like it belongs in a higher crafting, crafty store, home decor, or like, you know, just, it looks like it doesn't belong in the Dollar Tree, okay? It is a, almost beige, but it's a white-toned glass pumpkin with this adorable green leaf and this brown stem. Look how gorgeous this one is. This is definitely going to be on my tiered tray or maybe around my coffee bar where I plan to put some pumpkins, especially with the theme, the green and the white. Like I said, that is very popular for this year. And I just love the neutral tones of these pumpkins. They are so adorable. So run to Dollar Tree if you are looking to get this one. I only got one and they had a handful of them there at my local one. So I, and mine even has a little chip on it right there. I just noticed, oh, boo. I can probably paint that, but still, either way, this is the prize for today's Dollar Tree haul. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy fall craft shopping. And the reason I say that is I know some of you are not ready to decorate for fall yet, but this is when all the fall things start coming in the stores. And I've said this before, if you don't get them now, they will not be there when you are ready to actually decorate. All right, everybody, I will see you next time. Have a great day.